The gracious creator, after six days of creation, rested on the seventh day and instituted the Sabbath for all people as a memorial of creation. Now what's a memorial? Remember. Then one of the definitions of uh, something designed to preserve the memory of a person, event, or etc. The second one was much like it. It said preserving the memory of a person or thing, commemorative memorial services. Mm. And we actually have a holiday called Memorial Day where we remember those who sacrificed their lives serving for this great country. The seventh memorial was instituted at creation, so it was part of the very foundation of the world. Let's continue reading. The fourth commandment of God's unchangeable law requires the observance of this seventh day Sabbath as the day of rest, worship and ministry in harmony with the teaching and practice of Jesus, the Lord of the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a day of delightful communion with God and one another. It is a symbol of our redemption in Christ, a sign of our sanctification, a token of our allegiance, and a foretaste of our eternal future in God's kingdom. The Sabbath is God's perpetual sign of his co eternal covenant between him and his people. Joyful observance of this holy time, evening to evening, and sunset to sunset, is a celebration of God's creative and redemptive acts. It's a celebration. Much like Pedro was saying during the prayer time. Praise the Lord. We have this opportunity. We should have joy. It's a joyful, joyful observance of this time. It's not downtrodden. And, oh, it's the Sabbath. We don't have to work today. It's joyful. You get to spend uninterrupted time with our Lord and Savior. How many times have you missed the celebration? A birthday or a special holiday? Have you missed celebrating those? No, you try to make a point to celebrate those things. Sometimes they're not on the day that the actual birthday is or whatever the holiday is, but you still celebrate. So we have a chance to celebrate each week what God has created. So why would we want to miss out on it? That's just such a blessing. Um, in the last sentence it says evening to evening Sunset to sunset. Now why is this? Why is it not midnight to midnight? Some may ask. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 1. A couple pages in your Bible. Verses 1 through 5. Genesis 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, and saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So you see, the day starts in darkness and ends in light. This is where this time frame comes from. And this is from the beginning of Earth's history. Well before the idea of midnight to midnight came along, that dates back to um, Roman timekeeping.